Live from Boston, Massachusetts, I'm Lauren Hertz. This is Mia Overby and Ethan Nemeth, and welcome to the 24-7 Sports Radio Talk Show from Boston, Massachusetts. If you'd like to call in, the phone number is 866-444-0099. Now, today we're really going to be focusing on the NFL. Obviously, we're going into the new season. So, Mia, I'm going to ask you first, who do you think is really going to be a big contender for the Super Bowl going into the, this next season? I personally think that the Browns are going to make a comeback here, start winning some more games. I disagree with you on that point. I think the Browns, though they got some really good offseason acquisitions, they're still the Browns. Maybe a six-win team, they're not going to the playoffs, they're not winning anything this year. I mean, obviously with Baker Mayfield and the likes of Odell Beckham Jr., they really have that kind of dynamic, it seems like, where they're really getting along with each other so far. And I know that Odell had a really hard time with the Giants, so possibly with the Browns. Odell just doesn't have chemistry with anyone, and that's not going to just instantly happen because it's a new quarterback. I think that He's his issues that happen with the Giants are going to transfer over to issues that he has now with the Cleveland Browns. Obviously, in my opinion, I personally believe that the Rams are going to be a huge Super Bowl contender this year. Cooper Cup is coming off an injury. Jared Goff was pretty good at quarterback last season. Obviously, he had the big Super Bowl blow against um, against Patriots last season. And so I agree. Think? I agree with Todd Gurley and. Jeff, but Todd this Gurley is where has I the injury. Yes. From you guys, I believe that the Rams are going to suffer from a massive Super Bowl hangover. They had no one on the team who's been from the Super Bowl. They have a short offseason. They lost. It's going to be tough for them to rebound from that. And be Even good with team Aaron again. Donald in the defense, yeah. I don't think they're going to be a team that's going to be a very good contender until at least Week Six. Maybe they'll turn it around from there. Well, it looks like we have a caller, David from Wyckoff, New Jersey. You're on the line. What do you think of the Mark Sanchez retirement? An all-around legend. Do you think he'll be a Hall of Famer, and what do you think he'll do with his career? So um, I heard Mark Sanchez is going to go become an like analyst for yes. college football, yeah. and I think that that's a good, good career move for him. I mean, he's not going to make any more money playing football, so why not talk about it? But I heard that Mark Sanchez didn't really have a huge NCAA football career, so I think it's obviously an interesting choice for him. I don't know if he's going to be so great at it. The decision makes sense for me because you look at other quarterbacks who weren't all that great, like a Tony Romo type, and he's an awesome announcer. I think that could be Mark Sanchez. But does he... Since he wasn't in the college game long, does he know enough about the college game to be an for analyst me, for it? Football knowledge is football knowledge. Mark Sanchez flopped for the Washington Redskins last year. So let me ask you both, who do you think is going to be in the Super Bowl next year? I'm going to go with the Chiefs from the AFC, and I'm going to go with the Saints from the NFC. Why? Saints are a good team. they got Alvin Kamara, a solid running back. Drew Brees, one of the best quarterbacks in the league, and a really good defense at that, too. What do you think? I personally think that the Saints are going to make it to the Super Bowl. They have Drew Brees, who's a very good quarterback and knows in his way around the pocket. And then for the, I think also the Chiefs, they had a really good year last year, and they just need to stop the Patriots. I'm going to go with an interesting one. I'm going to go with the Texans from the AFC South. They did really well last season, and Deshaun Watson's still a really young quarterback. And then for the NFC, I'm going to go with no. the Cowboys and uh, Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott. They're obviously an unstoppable duo. I know it might not be a popular opinion to everyone, but personally, I think that we should shake it up a little bit. The Patriots, I'm tired of seeing them in the Super Bowl. I don't know about you two. I'm tired, you're tired of seeing them. them. They're still the best team in football, and that's a fact. Until Tom Brady retires. Yeah, and don't. Belichick's gone. Well, Tom Brady didn't actually renew his contract this year, so for the first time, his contract is actually lessening in a number of years. And I think that could be a sign that maybe he's thinking about hanging it all up. Really? Because I know that Gronkowski retired early, but, like, yes. I still think Tom Brady maybe has, like, two years yeah, left. I, I agree. He... Tom Brady doesn't have long, but he will have some more playing time. I think if he wins career. one more Super Bowl, it'll be it. You think so? I think so. Well, that's all the time that we have. I'm Lauren Hurts for the 24-7 Radio Talk Show. We will see you next Thursday night.